What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, we're going to check out seven WWE wrestlers who should dethrone Roman Reigns. I'm interested to see what Polana Productions' uh, seven wrestlers, who they are, and why he feels like they would be a good candidate to dethrone the champion, the rogue one, Roman Reigns right now. He is killing it. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know too many wrestlers that it would make sense to dethrone him. Um, I know I'm filming this before Extreme Rules 2021. So uh, he's about to face Finn Balor in his demon form. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know that there's a good chance Finn Balor will not be winning this match because they're setting up a match between Roman and Brock Lesnar. Uh, at the Saudi show later on this year. Um, and I don't even think Brock's going to win that match either. So I'll be interested to see who is in this list of potential wrestlers to dethrone him as the champ. We will check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. All right, let's do this bad boy. All agree and say that Roman Reigns is hands down the best universal champion of all time. Oh. To be fair, that is not a difficult task. It's not. He is the best universal champion. He has made a blueberry belt seem so prestigious. He's made that belt seem like the the number one belt in the company. Even though it should be the WWE Championship, he has made that belt seem more, more, I guess you could say, prestigious to have because he's had it than the WWE Championship. Like it, it this is this is great since the wwe most certainly does not care too much about that championship belt or at least before most of the title reigns before him were a bit lackluster Facts. to say the least and then that is when roman reigns arrived won the championship and it instantly became the most prestigious title in the wwe that is something that i never thought we would see because of the wwe championship and all of that history however whatever title is on roman reigns and whatever he's holding is the top belt i don't make the rules that is just how things work around here with roman reigns being the universal champion for over a year that begs the question who who should be the one to dethrone him for the title and that is a question people have been wondering for quite some time mm -hmm. so in today's video i'm gonna name seven different wrestlers that could be the one to beat the tribal chief putting an end to his long title reign randy orton in that list hmm. let's see his uh his justifications for that because i don't know if i would put randy orton in that list to be honest with you Randy Orton earns the spot at number seven because he's probably the least likely to dethrone Roman Reigns, but there is still a chance and I don't think he's a terrible choice. I think he would be a very solid decision because Randy Orton is a household name and he's been out of the world title picture for many years now. I understand he defeated Drew McIntyre last year in 2020, but that reign literally lasted like 28 days, so does it really count? And the same thing applies to his WWE Championship reign in 2017. Randy Orton won that and only held it for a couple of months before Jinder Mahal beat him for the title. I think WWE really loves big money making matches and this seems like a big match that will make a lot of money. Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns can draw a good crowd. People would be invested. Um, I'm gonna have to disagree with him. Um, you can't say, oh, well, the title hasn't been on him for many years when you list recently when the title was on him. Doesn't matter for how long he had it, he had the title. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm about to disagree with him on this one. It doesn't make sense to have Randy Orton dethrone him. They can have a match, but to dethrone him, no. That would make no sense. I wouldn't have even put him on the list. It needs to be somebody new and fresh, an upcoming star. That's my personal thing. Sid and the WWE can even Definitely tell the story with of Randy Orton chasing 16 world titles and even possibly trying to beat it. He's wrestling until he is 50, which means he's got nine more years left in the tank, and that leaves a lot of room for a world championship, and I would not mind about this victory if he was the one to defeat Roman Reigns and dethrone him of that championship. This should be interesting.
Although the WWE did not do Karrion Cross too many favors no. with his main roster debut, he still has a ton of potential. If WWE wants to make him one of their cornerstone guys, having him be the one to defeat Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship could work very well. Karrion Cross has all the right tools to be the next world champion despite not really having too much experience on Monday Night Raw. <clears throat> Roman Reigns is going to hold that championship for probably another year or close to that, and in that time, the WWE really needs to start making Cross feel like a top draw. He could even possibly win the Royal Rumble to become the number one contender for the Universal Championship. And I get that he's playing a heel character right now, but Cross can easily flip the switch and become the anti <sighs> Here's the thing about that. If they would have just kept him strong and they never would have booked him to lose as soon as he came to Monday Night Raw, and they just would have kept his persona the way it was in NXT, yes, I would be all for that. But did they do that? No. Can he be salvaged? Yes. Can they book him strong and have him be a believable threat? Yes. But that's going to take time. So. Hero babyface that dethrones Roman Reigns. If WWE is looking for a new star, this is the man that <clears throat> needs to beat Roman Reigns for the title. Jey Uso is probably a name that a lot of you didn't expect on this list, but I yeah. would absolutely love to see him finally get his victory over Roman Reigns. The story is right there, and it would be such a nice ending to what started in late 2020. Once upon a time ago, Jey Uso was becoming a main event star, and Roman Reigns essentially did everything in his power to hold him down, and it worked. Jey Uso is now a tag team champion, but his dreams of becoming the Universal Champion have come to an end. And I think I'd be so down to see Jey Uso realize that his career went downhill the minute that he joined forces with Roman Reigns. You could even have Reigns do something that puts Jimmy in danger, and this makes Jey Uso realize that he doesn't care about them, and he wants to leave his cousin and beat him for his title. That's like honestly a good route as well. There's that would be cool. I'm actually, I'm actually okay with this. That would be a shock if he was to actually win. But I, I don't think WWE would ever go that route because I think they're in their mind, whoever beats Roman, he's the next guy up. Jay, Jimmy, both of them, they're not the next guys up. But it would be an interesting story to tell, you know what I'm saying? But they're not the next, they're not the next guys up. It has to be somebody that you feel like is going to carry the company on their back. Because at that point, Roman, you know what I'm saying, he won't be the top guy. I mean, he'll still have the top guy feel, but he won't be the top guy holding the belt. So it could be interesting, but I, I, they would never do it. So many different approaches the WWE can take with the story, and an end <clears throat> with Jey Uso finally getting his title win would be a fitting payoff. That would be cool. Speaking of Finn Balor. This Sunday, Roman Reigns will defend his championship against the demon, Finn Balor. This is going to be an interesting match because there's a slight chance that Roman Reigns may lose his belt right here. I doubt it though, but it's possible. Yeah, it's the happening. WWE is most likely though going to try to protect the demon version of Finn Balor. This is most likely going to include a finish that isn't clean. Yep. And that leaves the door open for Finn Balor coming back <clears throat> later to take care of some unfinished business. And since we all know I love Finn Balor, I would probably book him to win the Rumble and ultimately be the one who defeats Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. That's also a possibility that might not just be a fantasy booking. It could honestly happen. Finn Balor winning back the belt that he never lost at the grandest stage of them all would sounds be cool. like a good idea. That would be cool. Mm, Seth Rollins. Interesting. Let's see how he. WWE will play might this. be setting up for a huge <clears throat> WrestleMania match between Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 38. The more I think about their careers right now in SmackDown, the more it seems likely that this is the plan moving forward. 
Both men are being treated as the top stars on SmackDown, and Seth Rollins has been acting like a horrible person, and it seems like he's going to have an awakening, turning into a good guy because he's realizing he's been a terrible person as of late. And the WWE even teased this match at WrestleMania Backlash when we had a face-off between Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, and it really seems like we're going to see this somewhere down the line in the future, and I would love to see a I would love to see Seth it. Rollins take down his former best friend. That would be cool. But I, I still think that should be reserved to someone, someone fresh. Like that, their story is, you know, is always going to be something that we can always revisit booking wise. But I think in this time period, I would like to see them go at it for the title. But I don't think he should dethrone them, though, in my personal opinion. Right. Hmm, let's see. The WWE clearly does not know what they're doing with Keith Lee. They literally have one of the most talented big men in the world, and they haven't done a single thing with him. At all. If the WWE creative team and Vince McMahon have a small piece of a logical brain, then they would have Keith Lee be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns for the Universal that Championship. That would be good. I would, the match would that. be an absolute banger, but outside of that, they've already teased a future feud between them at Survivor Series in 2019. Additionally, the WWE can easily make the big man a huge star, a star that can draw money for the company. Keith Lee winning the Universal Championship from Roman Reigns is a no- They would have to book it. And they haven't been kind to when it comes to his booking. They have had to book him correctly for months on end. And like I said, it this is something that I hope WWE is paying attention to because after a while, you can only feed so many people to Roman. It has to be somebody you're building up for people to get behind. Be like, oh, shit, he may be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, Keith Lee would be a cool idea, but it all comes down to them potentially booking them. If they booked them right, I would be all for it. No-brainer decision. Huh. The number one wrestler that is most likely going to dethrone Roman Reigns and should probably do so is Drew McIntyre. The WWE have obviously built these two as the biggest wrestlers and stars on the roster right now. Hmm. And I have a strong feeling that McIntyre is going to be drafted to SmackDown and finally get his big WrestleMania moment in front of a live audience in 2022 when he beats Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. And that is a very likely possibility. It really seems like it's going to happen. Drew McIntyre has been doing nothing for quite some time. And this is exactly what they wanted. They wanted people to forget about him a little bit to make them realize that he needs a change up and he needs to go after the man who beat him at Survivor Series in 2020. I could very well see it happening. Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I Someone had sent me a DM. I forgot your name. Uh, you know who you are. They sent me a DM. Uh of i think they had did an early advertisement of drew mcintyre facing roman reigns on smackdown for i think it'll be the first night of the draft for the universal championship to be honest with you i don't think drew should be winning this i don't think drew should be the next universal champion the reason being because drew's been in a major title spotlight for the past year and a half and no disrespect to Drew, I think he just needs to be in a, 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 a definitely a different type of feud. Him coming to SmackDown would be cool. And of course, he will feud with Roman for the title, but I don't think he should win it. Me personally. I just think it should be someone that is, it's like, I, I think it should be someone that hasn't really had the opportunity to really go for a major title. Drew is already established. Randy Orton already established. Some of these names that he named on here, if they would have booked them correctly from the jump, like a um, Karrion Cross or Keith Lee, I would be all for that because these are new faces. And when you have a title reign like this, or not newer faces, but like these are people that people, these are wrestlers that people know. When you have someone that has a long legendary title reign, you want someone to beat that person that is like an up and coming star or they've been in the company for a minute, but now they're starting to get the push. For example, John Cena, when he had that year long title reign and then all of a sudden Edge comes into the picture. He wins money in the bank. They start pushing him. 
he becomes the new WWE champion and they start to run with him for a little bit. That helped him get to that main event level because then people started seeing him as a main event heel, as a main event talent because of that. And the same applies here. I think you build someone that's been in the company they may have had their ups and their downs, but they never got that, that main event push. And you built them up. The fans get behind them. They want to see this person ultimately dethrone the big dog. He's not the big dog anymore, but Roman Reigns or someone of that caliber with that type of title reign, the length of the title reign, I think it's perfect. Perfect storytelling. So that's why I'm not a big, big fan of Drew winning it or Randy Orton winning it or someone that's already had these main event title pushes. I'm more on the side of people who hadn't really had the main event title push and it's, you know, it, it makes sense because it's something fresh, something to do and it, it'll build them up as a new main event level, main event talent. You could put Finn Balor in there because he hasn't really been in the main event scene outside of NXT since he originally lost the WWE Universal Championship when it was first created. So you could even go with him if you want to give Finn Balor this ultimate mega rub as the next guy in the company, give him that main event feel. Because anybody that beats Roman, they're automatically going to be a main event guy. You can't have someone that's been jobbing out to people all the time beating Roman. You got to build up somebody that can potentially have that main event feel. And then when they actually beat Roman, oh shit, they just beat Roman. This guy beat this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. We're talking about someone that's beaten everybody by this point and he beat Roman Reigns. That's awesome. Kind of like what they did with Walter. What they did with Walter, and I believe his name is uh, his wrestling name is uh, uh, Drakenoff. I'm, I'm, I could be pronouncing it wrong, but uh, at the last NXT Takeover, and they've had their back and forth. They this is not their first time having a match for the UK Championship, the NXT UK Championship. Walter had the title for them for over two years, some crazy number, and he finally loses to the guy. That was one of the only, he was one of the few people that was really close to beating him in the past. And he finally loses to him. And it elevates Dragunov now as a main event level. Even though he had that capability, it elevates him now because he beat someone that hadn't lost in over two years. That That's that's the scenario I'm thinking of. Someone that people can get behind. They know who he is. He hasn't really had too many major main event title opportunities. But when he did have them. He showed up, he wasn't able to win it, but he still kept grinding, still kept persevering, and finally he got the big one. That's who I think should possibly win it. So comment down below, let me know what wrestling star in WWE would you like to see finally dethrone the Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Appreciate all love and support. Roll to CCK. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.